This is for YouTube. It's a video. Yeah, we build a shrine. This is the water supplier. This is the construction engineer. Uh -huh. and this is the advisor. You're the advisor. The advice, the plan of the shrine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we are doing this for the globe to understand that shrines are more important. And this is the ancestors' house. This belongs to the ancestors since 14 centuries. This house is old, more than 200 years. Hey, 14 centuries to now, how many years? Six, 600 years? Yeah. So we are here to build a shrine. And this is the herbs which connected to the shrine. All right. So Togbi, original. So why are you building the shrine? Build of the all shrine. the things that you could build, you could be building a house right now. Why are you building a shrine well, first. first? We say assess this first. Assess this first. We have to build a shrine. The ancestors have to have a place, comfort, that they can help us progress, business, commerce, fertility, family, uh, honest. The spirit, the spirit of the truth will come to us. But if we have a place to sleep and our sister have no place to sleep, it brings confusion, disaster, and curses upon us. Mm. So that's why we are building the shrine first before we build our own houses. So we, we are here to build a shrine. We are not here to bring confusion. So children help with their spirit. Everybody helping with their spirit. Together as one. And since we are saying to America, all the black people have to come back home. And I know that one day we'll come, we all have understanding. And be together, and black power will rise. However, many African Americans feel like Africans don't like them. No, yes, they have, to, they have right to feel like that because the history of Africa, selling human beings become a curse on Africa. And we develop the spirit of hatred. That is why we are not allowed to do something like that. It's a, it's a horrible. And how many black people dump in the sea and create it Bermuda? They know the truth, but they don't talk about it. And we are suffering. Today, there's a confusion in Africa, war everywhere in Africa because of we sell human beings and they hide the secret and they don't tell the truth. And me, I'm standing here telling the truth that until all Africans we become one and we understand what are we doing. We have to understand that we have, we have to accept our mistakes and correct ourselves. That is why Africa can never unite. That is why Africa can never and ever have understanding. We will be on that, that curse until the day we come, we, we wake up and go back and to the, Ameri the black Africa, black Americans, what we sell them, we need to bring them back to this continent before we can have peace. If we don't do that, and those who have died, the ancestors who have died, lost their life during the slavery in the, in the ocean, they dumped them in the sea. We need to go back. We call something in our language which is called Jogwe. We have to do that ceremony to bring their soul back home before Africa can unite. No politician can stand and say he wants to unite Africa without doing that ceremony and rituals. Every day we fight, and more we kill each other with political wars violence in our land the curse are growing because the blood is pouring every day on this land and africa continent don't like blood we don't want blood share so anymore we share blood that's more the curses grow said by Toby. i say it till the day we come we wake up and see the light before africa can unite no politicians can unite africa until we go back and take that soul which was dumped in the sea, bring it back. And the whole continent of Africa have to go take holiday like a three months. We celebrate and give our ancestors, those who are dying in the sea, before we can have understanding and have a peace in this country. Even not so, we'll be under pressure. The Westerners, 
the Europeans will rule over us and punish us to the extent that we have no chance to live our honey life in this our own land. I say it again and again. So that is the point, and this is the truth. When Africa is free, the whole Europe will be free, the whole Westerners will be free. Once Africa is not free, the globe will never rest in peace. That's why we build a shrine. It's a shrine that will bring happiness, togetherness, understanding, love, fertility, together, together as one. Until the day will come, and I say it, there will never be peace until we make that rituals and, and sacrifices. Ashe.